Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is the RPG Pundit, the final boss in Internet shitlords. And, uh, you know, I've had some people asking me to, like, say more about the whatever the controversy is with Satine Phoenix and her creepy boyfriend and the uh, stuff that they've been doing. And, you know, I have no interest in doing that <laughs> for two reasons. First of all, that, that has nothing to do with the RPG hobby. You know, I don't know what that is. That That's something else. That's the hobby of people who follow reality TV show, you know, ex-porn stars and kind of failed actors um, on on Twitch streams pretending to be playing D&D. That's nothing to do with us. That's a cult of celebrity for something irrelevant, you know. Um, so the people who should care about that are are people who aren't actually gamers at all. <laughs> it has nothing to do with gaming or, or you know, or that the reason they care has nothing to do with gaming. Second, because my Sword and Caravan books are here. This is a way more interesting thing to look at. So today, this is basically like an unboxing. I've just opened them up. I haven't even like turned the page yet. Um, as you can see, this is Sword and Caravan here in... Uh, in hardcover. Mm -hmm. And here it is in paperback. Both, to me, in my opinion, not entirely unbiased, obviously, but in my opinion, and not having had anything to do with the the production, both seem to be quite good in production. There, it's The book is 190 pages. Um... And as you can see, it's got beautiful color on the outside there. And it's also got beautiful color on the inside. This is a full color product, right? Every page is in full color. And uh, you can see it's got some marvelous medieval decorations. Um, not just from medieval Europe, but you'll see that there's there's uh, art from a variety of sources here. And, and this is not a review. I'm not going to review the thing. I'm just kind of flipping through it to show you some of the some of the stuff, the way it looks, you know. Uh, there will be a review video done later where I'm going to talk kind of chapter by chapter what everything is. But today it's just to, like, give you a glimpse of it and to give me my first glimpse of it too, actually, of, of it in print anyway. Um so there's a, a an overview section on the kingdoms. There's an area of the gazetteers where you have all kinds of really spectacular, again, full color hex maps of the area between the Levant all the way to the border of China in, in and around 1192 or so. So that in itself is really, really goddamn cool, right? <laughs> My goodness. Uh, so if you're, if you're a guy like me who loves a good hex map, there you go. There's tons of them here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love it. And, and as you can see, every single city on the Silk Road gets its own entry, varying sizes, of course, depending on how important or unimportant they are. Um, all the different routes and everything like that. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Okay. And, uh. Or the, the hex maps don't end. They just keep going. Um, it's the Heiji Corridor. Um, you've got some new classes in the game. The Silk Road Merchant, Tribesman, Sufi. And Sufis have miraculous powers. And the Chinese Sage, Confucian, Taoist, or Buddhist, who have some new magical techniques and also some martial arts stuff. And then you have a big section of monsters that have a variety of different monsters that come from all the different cultures of the Silk Road. Um, and they're all based again on, on the way that these monsters were presented in myths and legends, you know, in, in, in the actual history. So it's not a, f a modern fantasy version of them. It's the the way they were. It's like the art here. Like I had nothing to do with the the art or the layout, right? The, I've got to say, Mad Scribe Games are are now, in my opinion, the best production company for small press in 
anywhere, you know, <laughs> like you'd be, you would be hard place to find something as beautiful as this. It's, I am so happy with how it turned out. Um, everything is nicely legible, you know, it's lovely. Trade, wealth, and equipment, so stuff, rules on, well, first equipment tables, stuff on trade goods, um, different sorts of way, char ways characters can make money, and of course, treasure, including magical treasures that are again based on the, the era, and on, on the mythologies and legends of the era, and counter tables, for one traveling along the road, um, encounters in the city, more encounters, um, special events that happen when you are in the city, royal attention, uh, law and justice, survival, extreme temperatures, chronology, So that's a complete chronology from about 1186 to 1222. Um, name tables, because it helps to have, you know, um, realistic name tables of what real people from that culture at that time called themselves, you know. <laughs> that's always helpful. Um, and as you can see, there's there's some for every culture there. And then, this is one of the best things, I think, the random, random encounters and adventure seeds where you have like a whole bunch of tables that allow you to make up um, setting areas and stuff happening in them at random. I think that it's, uh, that's, that's cool stuff. Some rules on drugs. Uh, more random stuff. Random Sufis, random tribesmen, random village. Uh, so, you know, you can go along the hex map rolling that stuff around and it's... Uh, Gives you what you need. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the last page. <laughs> okay, so there you go. This is just your first view of Sword and Caravan. I will go more into detail in a future video about it. But uh, you can pick up Sword and Caravan right now from uh, Drive Through RPG. It's currently a silver bestseller. Um, it will eventually be out on Amazon, probably at the beginning of next month. But uh, so if you, if for whatever reason you can't or don't want to get it from drive through, you will be able to get it from Amazon. In both cases, it'll be the same. Although obviously the the printer quality might be slightly different. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Let's take a look at the the hardcover real quick here, just to see. Yeah, yeah, the quality is the quality is still every bit it's good. The paper quality here is very nice. Yeah, so I'm I'm quite pleased. I think drive throughs actually done a good product here in terms of. Um, the printing, I mean, whatever printer they use has done a good job. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really excellent. <laughs> and I think that the, I think the soft cover is 39 bucks and the hard cover is 49, but don't quote me on that. Look at it, look it up in the link below. Um, you can get them obviously with PDF. Um, and yeah, check them out. <laughs> I think you will not be disappointed if you're looking for an adventuring setting um, that has, uh, you know, some uh, real authenticity to it and also covers an area that really hasn't been covered before in a proper way. So you'll, you'll get an interesting setting area that is that is unique, I, I think, among products you would be likely to find, at least in, a, in this authentic a way, that's for sure. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please share it, spread the word, help me out to to promote this book because uh, you know that that helps keep me in the business of not only making more books, which some of you might be pleased to hear, but also in the business of uh, continuing to fight the good fight for the hobby in defense of the hobby, right? So, so help me out with that. Share the video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if for whatever reason, you know, certain caravan is just not the thing for you. Well, check out my other products, because there's a lot of other stuff there. Lion and Dragon, Dark Albion, and of course, um, if you like sci-fi, there's Star Adventure. If you like modern occult stuff and sort of pseudo-horror stuff, conspiracy stuff, there's uh, The Invisible College. Uh, World of the Last Sun, if, you if you're not into like medieval authentic stuff, if you want a, a gonzo weird fantasy setting instead, there you go, World of the Last Sun. Um, and lots and lots of other stuff, Arrows of Indra, uh, Arrows of Indra, if you want, uh, if you'd rather go to India than to the Silk Road, they're right next to each other. <laughs> you can, if you've got Arrows of Indra, you'll probably be able to use some stuff from there, even though the, the time period is a bit different. 
Um, but check out all those. Check out the RPG Planet Presents uh, PDF series. Let's say you don't have the money right now to get Sword and Caravan, but you still want to you still want to get something of mine, check out the, the Punnett Presents series. It's got everything priced, you know, PDFs, 106 of them, priced from, I think, 99 cents to 4.99, right? And and every one of them has stuff you can actually use in your gaming. All my stuff, you know, just like Sword and Caravan, just like every other book I've made, it has, uh, it's it hasn't got an agenda. It's not trying to teach you um, some kind of um, supposed indoctrinating lesson or something like that it's about the game and it's it's set up for playing and it's uh it's not uh trying to do something other than being about the game and so all of my products you buy a pundit book you'll find i i believe stuff that will be useful for you and your games especially i mean within the limits of the topics you like but uh be sure to check them all out and uh and again share the video thank you very much uh, currently smoking nothing because uh, I just finished eating and I haven't gotten around to filling a pipe yet. I was a bit e- I was a bit eager now that I got this to to do this video. So uh, take care. See you next time.